Yeah, Francesco Gilli in the 250s this year after several years in the 500 class. That's Carlos Cardus. He's in the leading group, but at the back of the leading group. And not a good start for pole position man Helmut Bradl. He's down in around eighth place at the moment. There's Bradl just behind the number six machine of Martin Wimmer. That's the race leader, Pierre Francesco Killy, Luca Cadalora, Loris Reggiani, then Wilco Zielenberg. That was the number four bike you just saw going through your picture of Helmut Bradl. Number 10 is Dominique Sarrell, the former Rothmans Honda rider, but he's well down the field. A lot of work to do for him. But at the front of the field, it's still Pierre Francesco Killy from Luca Cadalora, Loris Reggiani, Wilco Zielenberg, and Carlos Cardas. And Zielenberg is down, Wilco Zielenberg has crashed out of the race. That'll be bitter disappointment for the Dutchman who was hoping to do well here and his crash caused all sorts of problems for uh, Carlos Cardas. And look at that other incident there. That's Dominique Saron crashing and being ridden over by a following rider, I think Harold Eckel. So drama in the early stages of this race. Plenty of action, fast and furious. As we look at the incident again involving Wilco Zielenberg, Carlos Cardas sits up and that's the first inkling we get and Cardas in fact runs off the track and that's bound to cost him time. From the high camera you can see Wilco Zielenberg just losing the front end and that's the end of his Spanish Grand Prix. Now Luca Cadalora challenging for the lead and Luca Cadalora goes through the world championship leader bidding for four in a row. Luca Cadalora for Rothmans Honda leads the Spanish Grand Prix from Pierre Francesco Kili, Loris Reggiani. Masahiro Shimizu and coming up to join that leading group was Harold Eckel. He's made up an awful lot of ground. Alex Krivia aboard the JJ Kobas bike is our chauffeur in the 250cc race. He's got it well lent over there around that corner. And it's Luca Cadalora who's leading and it's a group of five at the front of the field. That's our chauffeur Alex Krivia. He's ahead of Carlos Cardus. And the rest of the field streaming through in the quest for points. And there's somebody there in all sorts of trouble, completely high side and heading towards our camera. And all sorts of problems there for a $100,000 camera. The Italian cameraman's going to have to dig deep into his pockets, but it still works throughout the incident. Meanwhile, the race goes on. Luca Cadalora leading. World 125cc champion in 1986 and the runaway leader of the 1991 250 title. That was number one, the French rider Prota. He manages to save it, but he just runs alongside the wall and eventually collects our camera. Another insurance claim filed in the post immediately. Prota perfectly okay in that incident. As up into second place has come Loris Reggiani, demoting Pierre Francesco Gilli to third spot. Reggiani, a superb rider, perhaps not the luckiest of rider. And also up a place has gone Helmut Bradl, the German Honda ace. Oh, and all sorts of trouble there for Luca Cadalora, who loses the lead to Loris Reggiani. So, another new race leader. It's Loris Reggiani in the lead. In second place, Luca Cadalora taking a long look over his shoulder to see third man Pierre Francesco Killy. Two Aprilias and a Honda in the top three. And in fourth position is Helmut Bradl, the number 18 bike of Andy Prining. A crash for him puts him out of the race. But it's still Reggiani in first. In second, Luca Cadalora. Third is Pierre Francesco Killy. Fourth, the number four bike of Helmut Bradl. And fifth, Masahiro Shimizu.